A bit is going on in the DCU right now. You may have heard that DCU has been going through some changes. It recently brought in James Gunn and Peter Safran to overhaul the direction of the DCU movies. Did you know that Robert Pattinson could have a part in the DCU? Will it be Batman? What do James Gunn and Peter Safran have in store for the DCU, especially Batman? Look no further as we will reveal all. First up is the current Matt Reeves Batman universe safe. There are rocky days ahead for DC. The superhero universe is being reworked from all angles under the new leadership. They are currently working on what is next and laying out a plan for the next few years, and some of their decisions will surely only be liked by some. Even Gunn himself admitted as much. The dominoes have fallen with other big names already out, and Batman is next for consideration. Fans have also wondered about the Matt Reeves productions involving the spin-offs and Batman movies, but the spin-offs and sequels are safe at the moment from the massive success of the Batman. Robert Pattinson's role as Batman, currently under Matt Reeves' direction, is the most secure position as James Gunn and Peter Safran are making their moves. At least for now, that universe will remain. Reeves is currently working on the next Batman movie starring Robert Pattinson. Aside from that, it looks like Matt Reeves is creating a universe around his own Batman movies. There is, however, the concern that if they did bring Robert Pattinson's The Batman into the new Justice League universe might affect Matt Reeves' own plans. When James Gunn entered his new role, he mentioned speaking to Reeves. This suggests that he would like to work with Matt Reeves in the future, either to direct other movies or to bring his Batman into the fold. At the moment, Reeves is already doing the Batman 2 for the movie release, so there is a little about the new movie, but some villains such as Captain Cold and Hush have been rumored. A new television show, The Penguin, is also in development. Three villain movies are expected that involve Scarecrow, Professor Pig, and Clayface. The likelihood that he will stay involved in those spin-offs, but may offer his hand in other ways. But it does not look like there are any other heroes from the DCU joining Matt Reeves, but who knows, this could change. Next up, what does Gunn plan to do with Pattinson? There was a report in Variety that said Gunn wanted to add Robert Pattinson's Batman into his new DC universe. However, the director has denied those claims. This denial came through Twitter, as he often speaks about upcoming projects through that platform. Variety is often seen as the most reliable source for Hollywood gossip. Usually, it has been accurate about its leaks regarding movie gossip. For example, Variety recently said, James Gunn and Peter Safran are exploring the possibility of incorporating Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson's Batman into their wider DC universe. This universe excites many, as there is no shared universe for Batman now. So, including Reeves and Pattinson makes a lot of sense for many people. James responded to this claim by saying, There are few reporters I love more than Adam B. Very, truly a good guy. But in this case, he needs to get a new source, as this is entirely untrue. This rebuttal rules out the possibility. However, nothing is ever as it seems. Could this be a publicity stunt? And now we have, What moves have Gunn and Safran already made? The new leaders have recently called Wonder Woman 3 and Henry Cavill as Superman. It even looks like Black Adam is on the chopping block too. The new CEOs also want a new actor to feel the speedster shoes, and even Jason Momoa may be done with Aquaman. The two leaders are working out what will be involved in the franchise. The plan is a 10-year-long plan, much like what Marvel did. They have also discussed revamping the Justice League with new actors to fill out the roles. Currently, Ben Affleck has the role of Batman, but that may be about to change. Even though Affleck has a few cameos in some of their recent projects, his time as Batman is ending. The rumor is that Michael Keaton will return as Batman after the Flash movie. If it goes, ahead. But at this stage, it is unlikely. However, Robert Pattinson has his own version of Batman currently, so which actor will want to take up the role when another well-liked version is already out there? What is next, according to the Discovery CEO David Zaslav? Rumors are circulating that the new CEOs for DCU are thinking about asking Robert Pattinson's Batman to be part of the universe they are building, but there are also rumors saying that it isn't true. It should be noted that Discovery CEO David Zaslav said that there are not going to be many versions of Batman in the future. Zaslav said, I think over the next few years, you will see a lot of growth and opportunity around DC. There are not going to be four Batmans, and so part of our strategy is to drive the hell out of DC, which James and Peter will do. I think they've thrilled the fans. I think they're going to thrill you over some time, Zaslav said via THR. This would also include all the various spin-offs that are in the making. Nothing has been presented yet, and they plan on telling their version to Warner Brothers, which will include four mediums. The work of the movie is not expected to start until 2024, so we will have to wait and see. The new phase is going to begin after the other projects for the DCU are released. So according to the new CEO, the new directors are almost finished working out their plans for the future of DC. Furthermore, Zaslav also commented on the comparisons between DC and Marvel, hugely undervalued asset, adding that Disney did a wonderful job with Marvel. But if you looked at Marvel and DC 10 years ago, you would have said DC is as good or better. But Marvel is a connected universe. It has a Bible. The key had one person the following everything. All of Marvel is in one place. You don't wake up and find that there is been a 
and Batman TV show someplace. He also feels that DC is an excellent opportunity for creative development and for creating great new projects revolving around the DC characters. So, adding the two new CEOs for DC means that the franchise will have a cohesiveness that it has not had before. Moving on, should fans be concerned about the new direction? There are fans of the current DCU universe held by Snyder who was happy with Ben Affleck as Batman. Ben Affleck, however, does not want to play the role either way, but the storytelling in that universe has been a mess and won't continue under the new direction. The last movie, Black Adam, did not do as well as expected considering what they spent on the film. The Flash was the only movie that would have solved the problem of Ben Affleck retiring the Batman suit. Michael Keaton was expected to enter the role as part of the multiverse and reprise that role in Batgirl. This would leave Affleck and the former Justice League around to be part of the Crisis on Infinite Earths. But that was the old plan, and the new CEOs feel that Keaton was not the right move for the role as Batman. The age of Keaton does affect that decision, as their opinion is that fans do not want to see an old Batman. Next up, could a dark Batman work in the superhero universe? The other move for DC is to build a universe around Matt Reeves' version of the Batman. The Justice League would come into that world where some actors could be back or be completely recast. Many argue that because the Batman is much darker, they believe Superman may only work in a different version. There was, however, an animated series in the 90s that took that approach where Batman the Animated Series was eventually added to the Justice League and worked. Not only that, when Iron Man first came out in 2008, no one saw the massive world of the MCU that came after that. Their world is now filled with aliens, time travel, superpowers, and multiverse threats that stemmed from decisions made in previous films. And now, is Robert Pattinson a good Batman? For a long time, Keaton, as Batman, was considered one of the best, so much so that people wanted him back in some form in the previous multiverse. When Pattinson was announced as Batman, there were reservations. Others were not sure that Pattinson would be up to the task, primarily because of his look and build. Not only that, Ben Affleck became the new fan favorite but took himself out of the role, so now the baton has been passed on to Pattinson. For many, Robert Pattinson is a great Batman. Why? He spends more time being moody than anyone else and a significant amount of time under the hood. He is captivating and methodical in his version of Batman. Pattinson has the right level of stoicism and a level of reservation that was needed. Still, he made him captivating at the same time. By portraying the character this way, we see a different Bruce Wayne that is flawed and scarred. The Playboy billionaire often covers that up, but Pattinson brought that darkness to the front in his portrayal. Lastly, the possibilities of the new direction with or without Rob Pattinson. However, Safran, Gunn, and Zaslav may only want to go ahead with the spin-offs if they feel that is a little, and it may all depend on how well it does. But the fact that the Penguin is still going ahead is a good sign. Also, having Pattinson's Batman involved in the boarded DCU new phase may expect Reeves to be more involved in that universe. The possibilities are endless, as he can have a small part or a large part, and whatever he makes will be good. Either way, Reeves can have his version and Gunn can have his. Why not? We hope you enjoyed watching this video about Robert Pattinson might be making a big splash in the DCEU. Please leave a comment below. We would love to hear your thoughts. Remember to like and subscribe. Until next time.